Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're learning this gorgeous twisty stag position on the span set. This is a lot more than just one single aerial hoop position. In fact, it's several different positions that you can really milk to make more of an aerial hoop sequence on the top bar. You do need to bend your back side to side quite a bit for this one, so I definitely recommend doing some extra back warm-ups before you try it. But first, as always, I'll remind you to please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out when you guys subscribe and like my videos. Plus, I have lots and lots of other aerial videos and tutorials over there, so make sure that you check it out and subscribe. Okay, now that the advert is done, let's move on to some pro tips. My first pro tip for this move is to really turn your body to the side. Your hips should be facing the side of the hoop. That's going to really help you out a lot when it comes to twisting your body around the span set. My second pro tip is to feel the span set against your back. The more that you can get your upper back in front of the span set and feel the span set pressing against your shoulder blades, the more secure you're going to feel in the final position. And finally, I'm going to say keep the span set in your armpit. Once you get that second arm wrapped around the span set, when you're ready to come into the full position, having the span set really up in your armpit is going to help you a lot. So make sure that you are putting your elbow around the span set and holding it in your armpit. Okay, those are your pro tips for this move. So let's move on and break it down. Start sitting in the hoop. Reach up with one arm, then the other, taking the span set. Next, put your feet on the center bottom of the hoop and push your hips up to come into a standing position. Take off one leg and wrap it around the span set, then bring your foot to the same side of the span set where your hips and body are. You should feel the top of the hoop against the outside of your ankle. Next, pull up with your arms, twist your hips slightly, and come to sit on top of the hoop with your hips facing the side of the hoop. From here, whichever leg is your straight free leg, in other words, the leg that I did not wrap around the span set at the beginning, the other leg, I'm going to take the opposite arm from that leg. So I have my left leg free and straight here, and I'm putting my right arm high up on the span set. Next, I use my left arm to dive between the span set and my opposite arm. So I'm really putting the back of my shoulder, that's my left shoulder, against the front of the span set. This is a really cute position that you can milk for a moment. Next up, you're going to place your free arm on the span set and then change the grip of your opposite hand. My hand was with my palm facing my body and now I'm gonna change it so that it's facing the opposite way. My hand is facing away from my body. From here, you can let go with the other hand and I'm going to bend my elbow so that the span set comes into my armpit. Once I have the span set in my armpit, you should feel very secure and safe and be able to take both hands off of the span set. Here comes the stag part. I'm going to bend my back leg as much as possible, reach back with the arm that has the span set in the armpit and grab my back foot. At the same time, I am grabbing my front foot with my opposite hand. You should have left hand to right foot and right hand to left foot. So opposite hand, opposite foot. This is a really cute position. You could experiment with pulling your feet up more or pulling them out a little bit straighter. When you're ready, let go of your feet, reach up and grab the span set with the hand that is closer to it. Then from there, you will feel how to unwrap yourself from the span set. So you're going to unwrap yourself so that your chest is facing the span set and slide down to your knees coming into your knee hang hawks position from the top bar and you're done. That's the whole little sequence. Here's the whole thing in real time. This is really a nice little piece of choreography. It's more than just one move. It's several moves that are all the preparation for each other, but also look great together. And before I go, I will remind you one more time to please subscribe to my channel. It does really make a difference with the YouTube algorithms and helps me bring more tutorials and aerial content to you. So take a minute, subscribe, like my videos, and I will see you guys next time.